In this video, we are going to create a drop down menu using Bootstrap. And this is a very widely used piece of the Bootstrap functionality, these drop down menus. So, again, that's what we're going to do in this video. And the good thing about this is once you learn how to set these drop down menus up, once you learn the basic structure, it really then becomes a question of just fine tuning what you want. And we'll cover that as well. So, the first thing we need, of course, is a div. So, let's go ahead and create that. And then what we want to specify is the drop down class. And that is the main class that you use for your drop down menu in Bootstrap. Then we want to go ahead and create our button that we're going to use for our drop down menu. So you will remember we use the button HTML element. And we're going to set the type, of course, to button. Then, of course, we need to call the Bootstrap button class, something we've been doing quite a bit in the last few videos. And you will remember that is very simple. It is just BTN. And let's go ahead and we'll use the primary button for our drop down menu. Now, the next class we need to specify is the drop down toggle class. So you just specify drop down toggle right here, exactly like that. And that's really all you need to do. Then what we need to do is specify another attribute, which is called data toggle. And you're just going to set this to drop down. Now let's go ahead and we'll just put some standard text in here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just say choose a selection. And then of course we just need to close our button out. So there we go. Now what we need to do is go ahead and create the options that we're going to use in our drop down menu. And what we're going to do is go ahead and of course we need to use the unordered list, the famous unordered list. We've done that in many previous HTML and CSS videos. So we're going to specify UL and then we're going to call another bootstrap class and that is called drop down menu. So you need to put another class in your UL as well. Just remember that. And again, once you have this basic structure, you can just continue to use this for whatever drop downs you want. You always have to first use the drop down class, then you create your button, then you finally use another bootstrap class, which is called drop down menu. So it's really kind of a three step process. I guess you want to look at it like that. Okay, so we go ahead and again, the class we call is drop down menu. And then remember we have those roles, those bootstrap roles. Yes, we have to use a role again. And the role we set this to is menu. That's all we have to do right here. And there you go. That's it. We now have everything we need for our basic bootstrap menu. And now let's just go ahead and insert some uh, LIs in here, some LI elements. And these are just the standard LI elements we have used in the past. And of course we need an anchor tag with that and an href. We're not gonna actually put a link in here. You can do that for your own site if you wish. So we'll just use the hashtag. That's all we need there since we're not actually putting a link. But if you want to go ahead and put a link in there, you certainly can. And let's just say uh, this is going to be um, transportation methods. So we'll go ahead and provide our user uh, the option of selecting a car. And then of course we need to go ahead and close out our anchor tag. And we'll go ahead and close the LI out now. Okay, and let's go ahead and we'll just add a few more options here. So let's go ahead and we'll give a few more transportation options that the user can select. And let's go ahead and we'll make this one a bus. How about that? And then we will add one more option here and we'll make this an airplane. So they have three different transportation options they can select. And then of course we need to go ahead and close out our UL element. And then we need to go ahead and close out our div which of course we started right up here. All right, so let's go ahead and save this up and let's go ahead and run this and open it up in Chrome and let's see what we get. There we go. We've got our drop down button. And if we hit that, look at that. We've got our three options now. Isn't that formatted really nicely? And look, we can select any one of those that we want. Okay, we will continue on with the bootstrap drop down menu in the next video.